Thanks, Carla. Now to a deadly house fire in Richmond. This blaze off Old Midlothian Turnpike took the family's home, car, and beloved pet. Parents and teachers at St. Benedict Catholic School have been organizing to help. Chris Thomas picks up the story from the site of the blaze. Well, I want you to take a look behind me. This is what is left of the family's home. We found items like this children's book singed. They've been depending on the community for help. This massive blaze devastated the Goran family. Basically, I lost everything that I that I work for. Their home, car, and beloved family pet all ravaged by the fire. It was so sad that my pet has died. That's the main thing, huh? And he was so good. Eight-year-old Joshua and his little two-year-old dog named Talix were inseparable. It has been very hard times thinking that you don't, you lost everything and you don't have it. Well, uh, right now I'm living at my mom's house. The children's toys and clothing have all been reduced to a pile of rubble. Joshua attends St. Benedict Catholic School. They sent out a note to parents about this devastating fire. You know, everybody at the school was, you know, uh, obviously affected by it, by their loss. And, and so a lot of people have been bringing in things to help the family out. John O'Haran has four children of his own and says these images broke his heart. He started a social media campaign to spread the Garan family story. I love Richmond. I love our community uh, at St. Benedict's, but I love the Richmond community as a whole. And I would love to see as many people that can help this family out to rebuild their lives starting from scratch. After such tragedy, Joshua is eternally grateful. I say thanks. Mm -hmm. to them mm -hmm. for donating clothes, food, and other important stuff. So people have really been kind, huh? Ultimately, Joshua is just happy he still has his family after this deadly blaze. Yes, we're still together, so that's all that matters. The family says the focus now is trying to find a place to call home so that they can get a new puppy for Joshua. If you'd like to help, we're going to place that information on our website, NBC12.com. We're now in Richmond, Chris Thomas, NBC12 News. Thanks.